Today I just wanted to do a quick video on how to RDP onto an Entro joined or Azure AD joined device. I've seen a few other videos or blogs and instructions on how to do this that do sort of tell you how to enable it but they to get it to work you need to lower your security posture and it's really not what we want to do. Let's jump over onto a virtual machine that I've set up and we'll just dive into a demo. Okay so we're over here on just the Hyper-V box where I've set up a, a virtual machine that I'm already logged into and I've joined this virtual machine already to Entro ID and we can validate that by running this dsreg cmd status command and just by virtue of the fact it spits out a bunch of information I already know that it's successfully been joined. If I fly up to the top here then we can see that it's indeed Azure AD joined. Yes, so that's the first part of the setup. Depending on your environment, you might have to do a few other things to enable remote desktop and open the firewall and so forth. In this particular case, I think it's already set up by the company policy. So if you just search for remote, you should, if you just search for remote actually, you should see remote desktop settings, which I've already jumped into. And you can see I don't actually have control of this, but I believe it is enabled by virtue of the organization configuration. And then the other side of it is that the user that you're logged in as or the user that you want to RDP into the box as you may have to add to the administrator group or the remote desktop users group and you can do that in a number of ways but I think the easiest way is just from the PowerShell or command prompt you can run a net local users administrators and then your username and slash add but the key here is that your username will be Azure AD backslash and your email address and I think most of this nowadays is quite well understood so you can see I'm already been added to that group so I didn't need to do it but depending on your use case you may need to do it so I think we're in good shape to set up the next part of the demo and I want to show you this is the typical instruction that I see so I want to show you first the issue with that so let's jump over to a notepad what I typically see is basically get these two lines of instruction if you will and the first line of your username that's probably neither here nor there but it just preempts the user the username and save that file and save it as an RDP file so let's just go ahead and do that and I've got a little folder here RDP demo and I'll just call this intra RDP bad and we'll save it as an RDP file Cool, okay, now let's go find that file, here it is. And if I try an RDP, you can see it's pre-filled in my username based on what it's picked up from that, that file text. And the name of the virtual machine, let me just grab that from the other screen. The name of the virtual machine is pib nz demo. So try and connect to that. And you can see I get this error message which tells me network level authentication is required essentially. So it's kind of working but it's kind of not and what I usually see in the comments of these videos or blogs is they tell you, I'll jump back across to my virtual machine here, is they tell you to essentially untick this box. Now let's quickly do that for the purpose of this demo but I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to understand that if I am removing some sort of authentication requirement when I'm remotely accessing a server or a device that's clearly reducing our security and by and Larger no no. So if we jump back to our RDP session here. So now that we've basically disabled our security, we should see. Cool. So that's pretty much indicative that we're about to get a successful log on here. It's going to prompt me for my password and we should be good to go. Just drag that RDP session over here. Okay, so we've successfully logged onto that same box and taken over the session that we were on before, but with a horrible security practice. So what I wanna show you is, let's turn that back on. Close out this RDP session. Then we can validate that, that that's back on by launching that again and we, our, our problem's returned. Okay, perfect, that's what I wanted to see. This pretty simple fix for this is really just one more entry that I want to put on my RDP session. So let me quickly grab that for you. So it's easy for you, I'll just put all this in the show notes. There's only like three or four lines. You can just copy it straight from the comments below. If I edit this in a notepad, and I just chuck this extra line in here. So enable RDS AAD auth, which I think was introduced for the purposes of Azure Virtual Desktop. And I save that then and close out of that. Run our new, I should have probably just saved the new one because now we have RDP good and I run that and bring that over to the screen here and paste in so what we should see here is that it launches a modern authentication uh, workflow where we're authenticating against Entra ID and I'll just quickly complete that so chris at christurk.com
Cool, so now you can see it's completing the, the authentication workflow, but it is providing the appropriate tokens and authentication to meet that network level authentication connection. So now we're on, so that's awesome. Um, and just as an added bonus, I wanted to show you one other way we can do that without any of this notepad faffing around. So let's close out of that and jump back over to our remote desktop manager. If you are interested, I'm using Devolution's remote desktop manager. I'll put the link in the show notes as well for where you can go and download it. I do have another video about Azure Bastion, which goes into a little bit more detail about the setup of Devolution, so you can check that video out as well. But just for the purpose of getting on with this video, let's drag Devolutions into focus here. Okay, here we go. So I go start with a, a new entry here. I'll bring that onto the screen. So we want to have a remote desktop Microsoft RDP session, and the name is just consequential, but I'm just going to use the name of the server itself. That automatically gets copied into the host, so this is the important bit. The host, I could just put the IP address in there as well. The username here is going to be Azure AD backslash Chris at ChrisTurk.com. I'll leave the leave. Oh, actually, I'll just type in the password here. And the important bit here that makes the magic, if you will, is under the authentication tab here. Just tick this box here for enable Azure ID or enter ID SSO. And that's what triggers the modern authentication workflow, if you will. So I can just tick that box there and add. And I should be able to just RDP by double clicking. And I don't have to, there we go. And then I don't have to open up a bunch of notepads every time I want to create a new connection. I can have them nicely managed in my Devolutions Remote Desktop Manager. And I think that's a much nicer way to deal with this. Cool, there we go, and we've taken over that same session. So that's all I really wanted to cover today. I just really hope that helps someone get remote desktoped onto their intra-join device without messing about with the settings that they shouldn't be. Until next time, cheers.